Today we're finding who has the world's best burger. With competitors from Gordon Ramsay, to Mr. Beast, to the world's most unhealthy burger, to a 29 cent burger, to many, many more. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our first destination of Gordon Ramsay Burger. Holy crap, and look at this, all the flames coming out here. This has been on my bucket list for a long time. You know, normally when you go to a burger place, there isn't this excitement. But Gordon's burger recipe has literally broken the internet multiple times. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh man, in front of us we have the beautiful, the legendary, the iconic Gordon Ramsay Farmhouse Burger, which is made from a tri-blend of chuck, brisket, and premium ground beef that's seasoned overnight with a bit of egg, salt, and pepper, and then put into a piping hot grill with at the same time toasting a bun and grilling onions. And just from first impressions here, this is one of the most beautiful looking burgers I've ever seen. Like it honestly, it has like a fake look. Like it looks like one of those example plastic foods. Like I mean the bun is glistening, the egg is perfectly cooked. There's a heap load of bacon and also, I know it doesn't matter, there's a little stick that says Gordon Ramsay Burger. The meat is perfectly well cooked. The egg is amazing. The bacon is delicious. This was not a burger. This was a masterpiece. Now, although Gordon's Burger was insanely delicious, the price point honestly questioned its value as the world's best burger. So I did the most natural thing and took to the streets of the world's cheapest country. I love crossing the street here, guys. It wakes you up. You never fall asleep in Pakistan, you know? <laughs> Like, I've never seen people move so fast before. Like, it's just like, bam, 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 bam. Uh, each day, they sell more than a 20,000 burger. They sell 20,000 yeah. in one day? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh my day. God. <laughs> McDonald's should take a <laughs> notes. You know, this is crazy. So in front of us, what's being made is the bun kebab, which is first made on this stove using meat, an egg, and a bunch of spices. But what's interesting about this is normally, you know, if you have an egg on a burger, it's maybe like a, like a fried egg on top, where this one, it literally surrounds the meat there, which is so crazy. I have never seen a burger look like this before. And of course, it's just drenched in that secret spice and Sauce. Yeah, I'm gonna dip it in that sauce. Yeah. It's gonna. It's spicy. It's spicy. Oh boy. We have a burger for 25 cents. That's not only amazingly delicious, but also fresh. Everything is homemade here. You have the stations behind us of literally three people making stuff of the dough, the kebab, and the bun here. This one's getting rated very, very high. <laughs> now, most burger restaurants try to not talk about their burger as being unhealthy, but there's one that takes pride in having the world's most unhealthy burger. Oh my God, how is this a thing? Heart attack grill. Over 350 pounds, eat for free. This is the craziest place I've ever seen. <laughs> Never have I entered a changing room before the restaurant. <laughs> yep, thank you. Oh my gosh, where am I right now? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to the absolute craziest restaurant I've ever been to. And I've been here for two minutes. The Heart Attack Grill. A place where everybody is required to wear a hospital gown. And the decorations are something that you'd never see in a typical burger restaurant. All the waitresses obviously dress like nurses. And the cooks, doctors. Welcome in. <laughs> I'm Nurse <laughs> Ashley. I'll be helping you out. Um, I think I'm going to go a little bit crazy and get the uh, octuple burger. Do you want bacon? The 40 slices of bacon? Yes. Let's do that, okay. sir. And is it true, I, I saw inside that you get a- You will a, get spanked, hon, if you don't finish. I've never been to a restaurant where you get spanked if you don't finish the burger. What is that? <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> oh my God. Wow, okay. And if I don't finish it, it's- Oh my gosh, how many is that? I think eight, but it looks like a bit more actually. And 40 pieces of bacon. Uh, nobody believes in me. I'm gonna, oh my God, oh my God. I don't even know what I'm looking at right now. It's literally bigger than my head. And I'm pretty sure this is the most bacon I've ever seen before. 40 pieces, like it just keeps on going and going. And if it wasn't leaning against this thing, it would literally fall over. That's how big it is. But honestly, just taking a look at it, it looks incredibly delicious, so cheesy, more greasy than I've ever seen something look before. And also the element of dauntingness. All right, I'm gonna try to take the biggest bite I can out of this thing. 
It's so immoralizing just seeing the entire burger there with literally zero dent, nothing. Like I literally feel like I'm living in a cartoon right now. It feels as though like the cartoon character would just like open its mouth and be like, ah. <laughs> it's literally tumbling over here. This is not good, guys. This is not good. How you doing? You know, I'm okay. <laughs> Ready for your spanking? Honey? Ready for my spanking? Yeah. I guess so. Okay, here we go. Uh, I am so scared. You ready? <laughs> no, but, but you go for it. Did you want more? Bring it on, let's yeah. go. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so crazy. Oh. oh my gosh, I ask things so much right now. <laughs> now, although the heart attack grill was super fun, the burger itself was more so a shock of quantity rather than quality. So I took my search to the highest quality burger you can get of Wagyu beef. Oh, nice. This is it right here. What What is the difference between the Wagyu and, say, the, the Angus meat? Uh, okay, the programs of feeding of the cow, it diff it's different. Okay, now this ideology was a bit different for me, but Wagyu is basically a Japanese cow that's fed in a very specific way from strict guidelines. With having the number one principle be to manage stress of the cow to zero, because stress creates cortisol, which will deteriorate the quality of the beef. Now, this zen-like existence for the cows comes from anything of controlling the noise level around them with some farmers playing classical music, giving them daily massages, and even giving them buckets of beer, leading to what many consider the highest quality meat in the world. Now we're going to do the cheeseburger, it's just the uh, patty with the cheese and the burger sauce and the uh, arugula. Ladies and gentlemen, in front of us we have a meal that can only be described as the dream meal. With having a beautifully made Wagyu burger with not one but two pieces of cheese just ingrained into that beef patty. And then on the side here we have both homemade onion rings and homemade french fries with of course the coleslaw. Honestly just taking a look at this burger, it's an absolute absolutely picturesque burger. Having both that perfectly made toasted bun, beautiful creamy secret burger sauce, juicy Wagyu beef burger patty, dare I say beautiful tomato and onion. Never have I had such an interactive burger experience. I mean, just looking on the inside there, the juices combined with the sauce are absolutely gushing. This one right here, this is a serious competitor. Now for many, a good burger is not defined by the cut of meat. More so, how it's made. And there's one burger that is possibly the most uniquely made burger in the world, with many chefs calling it a legendary experience. Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to Whitman's. A place serving a burger called the Juicy Lucy, which is a burger that is made by first seasoning the ground beef with salt and pepper, to then make an individual patties, which you make incredibly thin because you have to put a heap load of cheese in the middle of the two patties. Now, the cooking of this burger is also a little bit difficult, with having to use water to create steam for the cheese to melt on the inside. Now, of course, the bun is toasted and topped with ketchup and mayo, but the real prize. Let me let me just take a bite and, and show you guys that cheese in the middle. Oh, like never have I ever seen such a satisfying cheese bowl when opening up this burger. And when biting into it, that cheese literally captivates the entire burger itself. This I gotta say was truly a legendary experience. Everyone should have a Juicy Lucy on their bucket list. Huge, huge score here. There's this long running debate on fast food burgers versus gourmet burgers. Are they as good as chef made burgers or do they lack quality and care? So to settle this debate, I decided to go to literally every fast food burger place I could find. The Mr. Beast Burger, Shake Shack, In-N-Out, or McDonald's. Lining them up, they pretty much all have a similar look. And it's so cool to see Mr. Beast Burger. Now, at every one of these places, we went with a double or a triple cheeseburger. And I gotta tell you guys, sitting here with these four burgers in front of me, you have no idea the smell coming off these burgers. But what I'm really interested about is just seeing how the Mr. Beast Burger is here. I mean, lining it up, 
against all of them here. It looks solid. Definitely not necessarily like a specific brand yet. You know what the McDonald's burger is going to look like. It is the sesame seeds on top. It, of course, is just drenched in sauce. That traditional American cheese. And the Shake Shack, you know, you have the same thing as well. You have the insane amount of sauce on the lettuce and the smashed burger. But the Mr. Beast, I mean, to be honest, it looks good, but it seems like it just has a bun and then some patties. And I mean, definitely the winners in terms of the look are in and out and Shake Shack. I mean, if you take a look at the bun on in and out like, it's actually toasted, which, to be honest, is not a typical thing at a fast food place. And, I mean, the Shake Shack, the way that they put the lettuce to the bun to all that sauce just drenched on there, it also doesn't necessarily look like your typical fast food. The McDonald's is how McDonald's looks pretty much all the time. And then Mr. Beast Burger, it looks good. I, to be honest, don't really see too much sauce on here. But we're keeping an open mind, but let the fights begin. Honestly, just tasting all these burgers, they're all good. And I definitely have them again. But I mean, the way that In-N-Out just combines everything together on that toasted bun, it's something that you'd never see in fast food. And also Shake Shack taking it out of the pack, it is absolutely massive. I was pretty surprised also by the Mr. Beast patties. There is a certain uniqueness to the flavor of the meat, which definitely drives it up. In-N-Out number one in fast food, Shake Shack number two, Beast number three, McDonald's four. TFC. What is TFC? <laughs> Tasty food center. <laughs> We're out here looking for the fried chicken and we just see TFC. Love how the goats are here and then the market is right there, you know? <laughs> the freshest you can get, you know? <laughs> 